World Exclusive, the 45th U.S. President Donald Trump lashed out at Prince Harry and branded him unforgivable. Trending Related Articles Donald Trump has told Daily Express U.S. that the royal family has been too gracious to Prince Harry and that he would not protect him like Joe Biden has done. The former president spoke exclusively to the Express at the CPAC conference in Washington, D.C. as he prepared to wow thousands of conservatives from around America. His comments came 24 hours after Prince Harry had appeared in court over whether he had lied on his immigration papers to the U.S. about his drug use which he confessed to in his book Spare. The legal challenge has been pursued by the Heritage Foundation in Washington, D.C. and resisted by the prince with the support of Biden's Department of Homeland Security. The row comes amid fury among Republicans over the weaponization of the legal system against Trump. L equals document. Create element, script, comma, dot L dot set attribute, SRC, HTTPS, comma, slash, slash, live, dot, premies, dot, text, slash, live, slash, live, view, dot, PHP, dot, S, equals, one, one, four, nine, four, five, player, API, it equals, V, one, one, four, nine, four, five, comma, dot, document, dot, get, element, by, it, of, premies, comma, dot, append, child, L. Trump was furious at the Joe Biden administration for protecting Harry by keeping his immigration application confidential. Read more. Joe Biden slammed for backing Prince Harry in visa case, something to hide. He said, I wouldn't protect him. He betrayed the queen. That's unforgivable. He would be on his own if it was down to me. He added, I think they have been too gracious to him after what he has done. The four day conservative political action conference in Washington, D.C. has this year become an extended Donald Trump rally as his nomination as Republican candidate is all but confirmed. Speakers, including businessman Vivek Ramaswamy, Possible Vice President nominee Christy Noem and close allies including Nigel Farage had pushed the need for a Trump presidency as the last hope for the West before it is too late. Don't miss Nigel Farage calls on cancelled Lee Anderson to join reform and destroy Tories, exclusive Donald Trump has chosen his VP, and it is somebody nobody is talking about. Insight proof Donald Trump has a plan ready from day one if he wins White House back, analysis, and while the conference had been quiet compared to previous years. The final day saw massive queues begin early in the morning outside the Gaylord Convention Center to hear the former president speak. One person said how she had got up at 3 a.m. to hear Trump give his address on the state of America. Optimism is also high with Trump leading Biden in the polls. And many of the delegates gathered wore an array of patriot clothing with Trump hats, Make America Great Again caps, a Second Amendment dress, in favor of the right to own guns. Stars and Stripes outfits. The enthusiasm could be heard early on with chants throughout the line. And allies had been making it clear that Trump would come in with a plan to make massive changes within 24 hours of taking office. This includes hundreds of executive orders to roll back regulatory reforms brought in by Biden. He also intends to pardon the political prisoners of the January 6th insurrection on Capitol Hill. 